that the most important doctrine I can declare and the most powerful testimony I can bear is one of the atoning sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. His atonement is the most transcendent event that ever has or ever will occur. It is the supreme act of goodness and grace that only a God could perform. Through it, all of the terms and conditions of the Father's eternal plan of salvation became operative. Through it is brought to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. Two thousand years ago, outside Jerusalem's walls, there was a pleasant garden spot, Gethsemane by name, where Jesus and his intimate friends were wont to retire for pondering and prayer. This holy ground is where the sinless Son of the Everlasting Father took upon himself the sins of all men on conditions of repentance. As near as we can judge these infinite agonies, this suffering beyond compare continued for some three or four hours. After this, he was led away with a rope around his neck as a common criminal. He was accused, cursed, and smitten. Their foul saliva ran down his face as vicious blows further weakened his pain-engulfed body. With reeds of wrath, they rained blows upon his back. Blood ran down his face as a crown of thorns pierced his trembling brow. But above it all, he was scourged, scourged with a multi-thonged whip, into whose leather strands sharp bones and cutting metals were woven. Then he carried his own cross until he collapsed from the weight and pain and mounting agony of it all. Finally, on a hill called Calvary, the Roman soldiers laid him upon the cross. With great mallets, they drove spikes of iron through his feet and hands and wrists. Truly, he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. Then the heavens grew black. Darkness covered the land for the space of three hours, as it did among the Nephites. There was a mighty storm as though the very God of nature was in agony. When the Son of God had fulfilled the will of his Father in all things, then he said, it is finished and he voluntarily gave up the ghost. His rising from death on the third day crowned the atonement. The effects of his resurrection pass upon all men so that all shall rise from the grave. Before an empty tomb, we will come to know that Christ our Lord has burst the bands of death and stands forever triumphant over the grave. I testify that he is the Son of the living God, who was crucified for the sins of the world. I am one of his witnesses, and in the coming day I shall feel the nail marks in his hands and in his feet and shall wet his feet with my tears. But I shall not know any better then that I know now that he is God's almighty Son, that he is our Savior and Redeemer, and that salvation comes in and through his atoning blood and in no other way. God grant that all of us may walk in the light as God our Father is in the light, so that according to the promises, 
the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, will cleanse us from all sin. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 